Uh oh. Spaghetti. Uh oh, Denver. I'm gonna rock your ass with a glass of my head. Uh oh, Denver. I'm gonna stand on stage and tell Lee when we're dead. Uh oh, Denver. Go to Wikipedia. You find some facts I can use. Got to uh oh. Prince is gonna eat you alive out there tonight, man. I hope so. We're we're a day late on the atonement with the father. Hello, Denver, Colorado. <laughs> You lucky, lucky sons of bitches. Harmontown is in session. I'm sorry about that sons of bitches thing. You guys seem pretty nice. Welcome uh, to the stage, won't you please, the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Yo, yo, oh, yo, 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 yo. Denver town, city on a mountain. Pussy's flowing, sorry. Pussy's like fountain, sorry. Pussy's like a river. I'm an orgasm giver, sorry. I'm already been getting pretty gross. Sorry about that, Denver. Sorry, 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 sorry. Pussy, sorry. All right. I fucked your mama. And, wow, you came right out the gate. I, t I said I said city on a mountain because I was thinking about the elevation here. Right. And then it was like fountain rhymes with mountain. Right. And then and then it's like Did but the it? unfortunate <laughs> dot connection between pussy and fountain and that makes you think of all kinds of weird stuff and the, I don't want I don't want it to be that kind of show. I worried about you if, if you do a lot of rap. I mean I want you to do a lot of rapping tonight. I want you to do your little toddler dance. But at this elevation, I. I <laughs> <laughs> It is, uh, yeah. I wonder if there's a thing here. I want to, you know, we're exactly a mile above sea level, exactly. Jeff. Exactly, exactly a mile a above mile. sea level. Five thousand two hundred and eighty feet, or your money back. Uh, <laughs> and I swear, last time I was in Denver, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I could, I could feel the effects of it, like yeah. being at this altitude. You're worried I'm gonna die because I'm gonna be dancing around. No, I'm, That's I'm a good. No, you're not gonna die. You're just gonna pass out, <laughs> and the audience will be concerned. Are you, you're not. Are you here by yourself? Oh, what's your name? Can I? I, I don't want to pick on you if you. My, my name's Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Well, you, did you? Did you? Could, no one else would, would 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 come with you, or somebody bail on you, or? Um, no one. No one. No one else was excited enough for this to come right. see the show. I, no, that's fine. I, we, we we don't want anyone here that wouldn't want to be here for sure. Uh, I just. I, so Is anybody here that doesn't want to be here right now? <laughs> It's, that would be a weird thing to. I, I respect. If, I, I'm sure that that's the case with one person at least, and I respect you very much for for not answering that um, in the affirmative. Well, Ryan's down here. I don't know. It's, I, I, I like this. It's kind of cool. He's like he's like uh, Alec Baldwin or something like kind of sitting. Is anybody know. else alone or? Uh, he's, he's, oh, you are. Yeah. You, we, we got we got three down front. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Oh, uh, well, yeah, well, you, you, that seems like a shitty seat. Do you want to sit where Ryan, at Ryan's table? They said we can't. Uh, 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 hey, it's called Harmon Town, not Denver Improv Town. They can absolutely suck it. Uh, yeah, they can't really, what, yeah. What's your name? We got, we, what's your name, sir? I'll pay them a lot of money. I'll write them a check for, if you want to sit there, sit there. So we got Drew. Drew just moved down from, uh, we're, we're, we're rearranging. So now Drew and Ryan are sitting together. All right, and then that guy that looks like exactly like Stephen Shroud. Okay, and then, uh, brother. okay, wow, Ryan. I, I hope you I hope you I hope you wanted the company because now. <laughs> yeah. A, a table of one is a table for four now. I love that. And finder's fee. <laughs> <laughs> cheese stick snarfer. Oh, he's a cheese stick snarfer. He's a cheese. He's a cheese stick snarfer. He'll grab a hold of your cheese sticks. He's like no other. He'll sit four people down to eat their cheese. <laughs> He's the kind of guy that loves cheese. Loves it right between knees. It's dumb, stupid. <laughs> and not legally clearable, either. Stupid. No, no I, I don't think anybody would, would sue you for doing that to that song. All right. What are the names here we got? I'm Steven. Steven. Drew. Drew. Ryan. Ryan again. Adam. Adam, try, try to remember that. All no, Could one of you be named Stephen, Panthro Drew, or something? Like, Stephen, Drew, Ryan, Adam, right? All right. The Council of, of Doom. Yeah. Uh, that is going to make it hard for me to get out there and work the crowd. And if there's a fire, we're all going to die. Stephen, Stephen uh, 
you sitting this close to the stage is going to be some hot beard on beard action when Spencer comes out. <laughs> Let's get these beards together right now. <laughs> beard on beard. The, uh, sp what's his name? God damn it. Drew. Steven, Drew, Drew. Uh, Steve. Andrew, John, Steve, Steven, Ryan, Drew, Ryan, John, Jason, Adam, Bob, and Tim. Just, we need more creative parents in this world. I, I, speaking as a Dan, like, 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 we gotta, we gotta. Steven James Harper, waspiest fucking name ever. Yeah. How about Jeffrey Brian Davis? That's pretty white. Uh, we are, uh, uh, God damn it. I, 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 I wish people's names were like, uh, yeah, I mean, I've said this before, like, I want, you know, you should have, like, like you should, you should, like, f for the first 11 years of your life, you should just be called kid, or, like, because who gives a shit about you? Like, like, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you know? You don't know nothing. It's just a kid. It's kid number eight, kid number nine. And, uh, and then at, like, like, on your 12th birthday, you should either pick your name or have everybody give you a name. And it's like, if you're an, an asshole, you should be, your name should be asshole. Or if you're like into eagles, they could call you eagle, you know? I don't care. I just wanted to be specific. What so if you're into eagles, assholes? And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you're eagle, asshole. It's, that's exactly, I want to, like, like we, gotta, we gotta fix society, Jeff. We gotta go to the moon and we gotta, we gotta call it. But just your, your natural instinct, there was a man sitting here alone, and, and, but then we found out that there's lots of uh, singles here tonight. But it's not a surprise with my crowd. It's a, it's a, it's, this, is not, this is not a couple's show. I guess I'd, I'd be more surprised if there was lots of single ladies here. Yeah, yeah, that would be a weird thing. <laughs> Woo, bachelorette party. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm so, my beard is getting really long on the road, and so it's absorbing a lot of vodka. I don't know what to talk about and what not to talk about. Uh, we'll edit it out if it's not fruitful, but um, really. Uh, save it for later. You mean the topic or the vodka? You mean the vodka. It's one of the ladies that came here to hook up. Okay, so John, Jake, Ryan, Tim, Steve, we got Steve right? Andrew, Drew. and Bob. Okay. Adam. All right, we'll have you guys up later. Uh, Jeff, you're back. You were, you were gone for two, I, yeah. two, 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 two episodes. Thank you very much. I had to leave uh, Harmontown. Sadly, it was weird to be away from you guys for two days. I went and joined Ryan Styles and Greg Proops and Joel Murray in uh, the Northwest, and we did three shows. You guys had a day off. You guys went to the shittiest places in the world. And, uh, we were I, only, I, I, I leave the group for two days, and they are at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> we were, we were in. It's possible that you may be the force that brings us to uh, more, more exquisite places, but. It's also possible that in Kansas City, the, the, the hotel was next to one of these malls where there's just like a dinosaur restaurant and then the, the stand-up club we were performing at. And it was like, Dave Coulier's there on Wednesday and J.J. Walker's there on Friday. And then it said like, John Davis and Dan Herman in their <laughs> nationally televised podcast. You could be in the show. It's, uh, that's what it said. <laughs> And it was, I, I didn't know that we were televising this. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are safely away from, from Kansas City, and I, I, the, the people that came to that show, the 60 Harmenians in that audience, I want to say I love you very much, but, but uh, we will, uh, that, that club sucked. That was bad news. It was like being in a driver's ed class, like in the back of a mall. It was, it was not made for us. It was not made for our people. They were, the people that did show up were, were, were bummed out. And I think it affects me. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, do you think I'm having a good show right now, Jeff? We're not talking about anything. What am I doing? Let's make with the entertainment! <laughs> oh, entertainment section! Entertainment section! Get it, Dan. Entertainment section! She's about to entertain your balls off right now, everybody. Welcome to the entertainment section. I fucked your mama up against my erection. I fucked her hands in the day of last week. I fucked your mama so hard she went to Widow's Peak. It's a special place. Nick Nolte lives there. It's named after him because of his hair. His hair is a Widow's Peak. I don't need to explain myself. See you next week. I fucked your mama in the hill in a valley. I fucked your mama until her name was Sally. Uh, forthright. Wasn't that a comic? I, I fucked your mama on a comic. I fucked your mama in Denver. I fucked your mama and she doesn't remember. It's not my fault. That wasn't great. I didn't put anything in her drink. It was great. She had a good time. Her amnesia was brought on by my dick. Oh, my dick. Yeah. 
altitude, Jeff, is... Huh? I can't wrap don't, this altitude. Don't blame the altitude. I can't wrap this altitude. Don't blame, blame, blame the cheese sticks, man. We gotta be a mile above sea level right now. We are exactly, exactly one mile above sea level. This is the place to be when the polar ice caps melt. Like, this is gonna be the last place. This is dry land, right? This is where the, uh... Oh, fuck, this altitude. <laughs> You know who you know who's really good at rapping? Huh? I mean a lot of people, a lot of professional people that get paid. Uh, uh, Dr. Dre. Uh, Spencer, we found out on the bus last night. <laughs> Can we get Spencer up here? Spencer. He's very he's very concerned about being put on the spot about his rapping. But the truth is, in uh, Spencer, everybody. Spencer Crittenden, the dungeon master. Wait, I don't know if you, you guys are avid podcast listeners. I assume you bought tickets on that side. You may recall that back in Los Angeles, we, when we decided to bring, uh, 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 that's Raquel, make sure you tip her. And uh, I don't know everyone's name, but I'm gonna be, I thought that would be impressive if I did that. What, what's your name right there? What, what's your name? The, the Maria. Maria. Yeah, don't tip her. Don't yeah, tip don't. Her. <laughs> she, uh, she, she's working, no, she's working the same tables as Raquel. Raquel doesn't know why she's here, never met her in her life. She's just following Raquel around, Maria. taking drinks away that Raquel puts down. Maria was fired from this place 15 years ago. Yeah, Maria. Yeah, Maria. <laughs> Some say she died here, yeah. but still, from a certain angle, you can still see her uh, uh, haunting other waitresses. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a photo of Dom Herrera on the wall and Maria's in the background, which is weird because Dom Herrera was famous in the 20s. <laughs> Shining. So, Dan, I, uh, wait, I, wait, what was I talking about? Uh, well, I'll get you back on track. I, I, heard, I, I went away for a while. I, didn't, I haven't heard Minneapolis because I, I didn't get a chance to listen to it. And Kansas City hasn't dropped yet, so I haven't heard that one either. So I don't really know what went on. I, I heard that you had, you know, the... the the basic uh, upshot of what the shows were. Spencer filled me in on the D and D uh, campaign, but story structure-wise, there's a thing that you put on Tumblr about the fact that you felt like, as a, if you're the hero of the story, the fact that you haven't changed at all. Right. Did you discuss this in the show? I, I talked about it a little bit. But it was Kansas City, Jeff. It kind of <laughs> right over their heads. <laughs> so you're this saying is the time to talk about it. That nothing gets over the heads in Denver. They're a mile above sea level. Well, that, you, you did this really fascinating uh, little video on Tumblr. It was amazing because you didn't edit it. It was really like, you didn't stutter once. It was really like, just like, it was really good. And, uh, second take at the second time. Oh, was it really? <laughs> well, that's nice of you to be honest about that. Uh, burp. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's the, ooh, the altitude. The altitude. What is happening? Are you like John Hurt and Alien? Are we going to find out? That the two, how, how, how are your two, your two days off, off planet? Yeah. Uh, it was great. It was great. Let's have some more breakfast. <laughs> so, uh, you're saying story structure wise, if you're the hero of this, of this tour that you're going on, the fact that you haven't changed probably makes you the villain. Possibly, yeah. Possibly it makes certainly you the villain. Certainly makes me like at least an extra or a. Like a horse. <laughs> but, but Spencer released this beautifully written uh, like uh, blog that, about like his uh, awakening or his like you know his like he's really his self he's going on examination. He's, he's, he's on three. He's on a journey. He he's meeting the outside world. He's coming to grips with other people and what that means about him. Spencer learned on this journey that everyone in the world could be into him, but no one would ever understand him. I'm not putting words in it. That, that sounds pretentious, putting words in his mouth like that, but that's, that, 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 like, he learned. Is, is that about right, Spencer? Is that... I, wouldn't, I wouldn't phrase it that way. No, it sounds, <laughs> it's, it, it don't make you sound like a dick, yeah. But, but you, you got to a point where it's like, people were throwing the equivalent of panties at you. That, that was a, a wool cap. There were dudes throwing wool caps at you. That's as close as this crowd's gonna get to throwing panties. Like, this crowd is a practical crowd. They, if, they, if they have panties, they're using them. Uh, uh, a, a, a hipster threw his wool cap at you and said, I, I, I don't need this anymore. I, you, you, you take it. Um, and, 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 and then, and then it, 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 even though that seems like a thing, it's like, oh, I would like that. I would like to be able to push a button and feel what it's like to feel everyone, everyone liking me, everyone appreciating me, everyone accepting me. And you said in your blog entry, to, to paraphrase you, uh, or to extrapolate what you were saying, that that the arrival at that goal actually led you to the realization that there will still never be a certain connection between you and other people. 
You could be alone for the rest of your life, Spencer will be. That's a gift. Now, so this motherfucker's on a journey. Right. So I'm just a fat guy so, he's, so, so we're going to find out that he's the hero of this, like... And that makes me yeah. like Jafar. You, 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 okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to say like Christopher Walken, but... It's Jafar. <laughs> that makes me like Jafar. Yeah, to his <laughs> Aladdin. <laughs> My story circle is crystal ball. But well, now you're doing Jimmy Stewart. Well, I'm also Bane from Batman. <laughs> Many people talk like this, Jeff. Jimmy Stewart, Garrison <laughs> Keillor, Bane. So well, while I was away, Christopher Walken, you, you, Bill Clinton, <laughs> Don Knotts. Can we hear? Can we hear? Oh, can, 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 can we hear your Don Knotts? There was, there was giant pockets of no, no, Good. no applause. Good. Those, those people are here. Yes. Those people are like, no, no. Dude. Swing, swing and a miss. There will be times when I will appreciate effort from you I, when I will need it. Uh, uh, but uh, there are also times when I need to be punished. So if you feel like, if you feel like story structure-wise, because we obsess over this, that last night was some sort of death because of, of the room you were in and the, the, whole, the, the whole thing. Because you also found out on the tour bus, driving here overnight, that, that Spencer's a better rapper than that me. That Spencer can rap better than you. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's not true. Well, well that's spoken like a hero. <laughs> I, we, we were doing dinosaur raps, and like we kept switching topics, hat raps, rape raps, like, like, like it was... <laughs> rape rap? I, it was, we were drunk, and we were doing, you know, you do taboo humor when you're in the, a tour bus, because you're... Is there a... Is someone... Do you hear that? There's just someone, like, hanging out. It's, like, it's coming from up there. It's coming through the station. Can anyone kill the house music? That's actually that's that's Maria's iPod. She died. That's just. I'm fascinated by that. Pat Benatar's going down up to rap to it. And yet, and yet, I feel like win, lose, or draw, you rapping is going to make this a special night for me. Uh, and I think you know that, that's all I can ask for as a comptroller. I can't. I, I don't know what you people want out of tonight, but I, I feel that if we can get a little Spencer rap and battle going, well, let's just let me let me kind of let me kind of flounder. So now, to, to play the you know do the. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, can we get Spencer's mic up? Yes. Oh, so this whole time we couldn't hear Spencer? No, right. I, it was a, working a little. Ah, ah, rapping words. It's absurd. Okay. <laughs> Rap check. All right. So, so there's, a, there's a there's a mixing grid in back, and one of the one of the levers says a uh, uh, weird trickly FM radio uh, feed, and they they the one next to it is Spencer's mic, and they brought that down. So what what beat do you want to do this to? Uh, I would say do the do the Rihanna thing so that the audience can do the do the chorus, okay. and 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 that'll 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 and then let me flounder a little bit here in Denver. The altitude's got me all crazy. 
I want to come out with my wireless. Fucking. No, I don't want to hydrate. I, I... Yo, 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 yo. Don't turn around. Yo, don't turn around. <laughs> Just behind you. Always behind you. No right matter right. where you look, I'm always going to be behind you. You just took his dick out of his pants right now. I'm going to find you. Flicking in the trees. I'm going to find you. What's your name? Jason. Jason, I fucked your mama so hard, her pussy started to hasten. Say, it got really fast. I fucked your mama so hard, her pussy started to blast out from the tarmac in space. I fucked your mama regardless of her race. She's, she's, she's biracial. I fucked your mama, it was spatial relations that I needed. I put my dick down and she heeded the call to adventure of my wiener. She came to it and said, this looks leaner than bacon. Put it on her plate. I fucked your mama hard cause I'm not about hate. Yo, come on down to Harmontown. Turn that frown upside down. Diversity. It's yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmontown. Yo, I'm gonna do another verse so that Spencer can do one that couldn't be worse. I'm gonna lower the bar and talk to my people. Well, what's your name? Andy. Steeple. <laughs> See how that works? Didn't matter what his name was. Just, I'm a fucking jerk. I just rapped. Working the crowd. Gonna eat your fry. Gonna tell it out loud. I'm, Come on down. <laughs> Turn that frown upside down. P is yellow, poop is brown. Denver. Come on down to town. You know I'm Spencer, I'm the dungeon master. If you mess with me, it's gonna be a huge disaster. Cause I'm six foot four and I pack a bunch. But bitch, don't be asking what I had for lunch. Because I'll tie you up with ropes and chains. And when we play in d and Know I hold the reins Cause with a lightning bolt or a fireball You best roll a climb check before you climb that wall Oh shit! Come on down to Harmontown Turn that frown upside down Hero is yellow, poop is brown Death, come on down to Harmontown As I get older, my brain starts to sag I'm looking over at Spencer and turn into a dish rag I'm melting to the earth and my brain doesn't work. I, I remember the thing with the steeple and then I said I was a jerk. It doesn't matter if you have to say it. it. No matter how much you admit, it doesn't change it. I'm weak. My synapses get farther apart. And every time I open my lips, what comes out is a mental fart. Come on now to Harmontown. We're turning that brown upside down. Old. Please yellow, poop is brown. Dead. Come on down to Harmontown. I'll take the mic, I'll get the mic back. Oh, wait, let me see if I can put things back on track. I said, I'm, I'm Spencer, I'm a dungeon master, and you can hear me preach, but man, I ain't no pastor. If you try and keep up, man, I will run faster. It comes a long last, and I'm the long blaster. I can't get it all with my master blaster. I can't think of another thing that rhymes with aster. Oh, come on down to Harmontown. Spencer, that frown upside down. Roll. He is yellow, boop is brown. Hit point. I'm in class in the skies from the sky. I want to swing my sword, but I don't know why. I got a beard the length of the whole Mississippi. Fucked your mama so hard that her pussy got drippy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about my shit. I'm misogynist and I go to weird places when I start to throw a fit. I can't do anything else. I'm infantile and I, I just belong on a really old shelf. Got fired from NBC. Came out on the road said, hey, look at me. It's, it's $20 a ticket. Don't know why. I don't have an act. I don't, I'm just a guy. I'm just a big fat asshole taking your cheese sticks. Talking about your mama loving my dick. Come on down to Harlem Town. Turn that frown upside down. Rap. He is yellow, poop is brown. Rhyming. Jeff. Oh yeah, shit. I didn't know I was gonna have to rap now, but I, but I will because I was on the road and I had tried to kill the audience when I was away in Seattle. But now there's a rap battle, and I know that. 
Spencer is the man who's rising taller in the saddle. He sits high, his beard is hanging low. A dance up there, how long can last? I don't know. The altitude's so high. He's a, he's a kind of overweight guy. He had so much cattle vodka last stage. I think he might die. Oh, come on down to Harmon Town. Yes. Yes. No, 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 sorry. Wow. I don't know what it is about this. It's the altitude. It's the altitude. It is the altitude. It's, it's, it's your elation that I'm back with you. Uh, that's true. I'm very glad to have you back. I thought Aaron did a great job. And uh, like Minneapolis, I put up unedited because uh, I thought, you know, it was a very fun show. Warts and all. There was some asshole in the crowd that was like, eh, I hate your relationship. It's boring. And then we attacked him. <laughs> like I found myself like I, I, I listened to the recording I was like okay here's the mistakes I made like this guy like piped up in the audience and instead of saying what I always say which is oh hey you have something to say do you want to come up and talk to us would you be willing to come up and talk to us we don't bully anybody you hear in that recording just like get up here you fucking asshole <laughs> like, I, like, like it just turned into this thing like we hit this weird like rock bottom thing where it was like and then people were just yelling out like, fuck you, fuck potatoes. And we go, what'd you say? I said, fuck potatoes. All right, fuck potatoes, come up here. Why'd you say fuck potatoes? Because I wanted to be on stage. <laughs> and, then, and then I just got mad. And I fucking, I shut the whole thing down. And I, 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 uh, I, I fucking, uh, uh, Axel, Axel, Axel rosed it. <laughs> I threw a camera and I, I put my, my wiener in a shoe. And <laughs> then I took the shoe and I wore it like a hat, but my wiener was still in it. so. Like, it wasn't disconnected, it was like a, it's like stretched. And then I, uh... You, you asshole roasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I held the top of the hat and I, I played, I played my own, like, thread stretched like, like penis, a, like, like, a, a, like a, like a, like, like a, a banjo. Like a gut bucket. No, I know, I know, a lot of people, sir, don't know what I mean when I say axle roast. I just need to clarify, that's what I did. <laughs> I made, a, I made a cigar box guitar out of my you're, own you're, dick. You're, describe, you're describing an Axl Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know, but there's a lot, good 40% of the people here don't know what that means. I made a weird southern instrument out of my uh, mutilated penis. Uh, and blamed security. Um, <clears throat> We're start. We're, we're 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 in the home stretch. I don't. I I feel I feel weird, Jeff. I don't know what to. Uh, it's the altitude. It's the altitude. I understand. All right. Well, should we like 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 Jeff? Jeff can you can you just hey, hey, can you control me? I, I'll, I'll try, man. man. Just help me out. I can't look at them. I can't okay. look at them. Well, I think you know. Uh, there's a moment like I left for a while. It was very strange, and now I came back, and I was like, I missed you guys, and uh, something happened to us. We, we only have a few days left. Uh, and we're going back to some of my favorite cities, like, I was, I was like, well, not Salt Lake, but, uh, <laughs> you know, Salt Lake, it's the Paris of, uh, salty lakes. Uh, I mean, honestly, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have salt, like, don't put a lake there, and <laughs> vice versa, like, what, you know, we've heard it before. It's a, it just seems like a dumb place to have salt. It's a lake. It's, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cold as hell there, right? It's already pretty good Really? I want to I want to go out to the Salt Lake Flats and and reenact every uh, Playboy video I've ever seen <laughs> growing up. It seemed like they were always out in this like these flats like like every Playboy Playmate like uh, video like centerfold would would involve like like they'd just be naked out in the Salt Flats. No, I, I, okay. I, I'm not familiar with that. All right. Well, then I'm eating another one of Toby's cheese sticks. <laughs> His name's Adam. He should have thought okay, so, of that before he ordered so, cheese sticks. So, so, probably a few days ago, but certainly as of Denver, Colorado, the diet is just out the goddamn window. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you think you've gained a significant amount of weight, Mr. Yeah, I'm, full, I'm binge bonding. I got <laughs> <laughs> you, 
can't I, stop myself, Jeff. I, I came back. I came back to the hotel and I ran into Dustin Marshall. Our, 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 also, Dustin Marshall, our podcast producer, back there. He's a good kid. He's a great kid. Uh, he's a good kid. Largely in the sun, like uh, he, he, he dwells in the shadows, but he's the reason why you guys get to hear this uh, almost every night, and uh, it, it's his hard work. Uh, so thank you, Dustin. But I, I yeah, he's and also uh, he's a good dude. He's been he's just been smashing pussy on this trip. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm joking. He's, uh, he's into dudes. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I ran into him. He's like, oh, I'm going to Dan and Aaron's uh, hotel room right now. They're going to do a This Feels Terrible podcast. You, know, you want to stop by and say, hey, I'm like, yeah, I pop in there. You guys have been there just today, right? Yeah. It looked like a fucking city dump in there, man. <laughs> there, was, there was shit everywhere. There was just, like, uh, just food. Like, you guys really got it on today. Well, it's just, you know, I was recuperating from this, like, late night uh, party bus thing that we did. It doesn't matter. Whatever, we're, 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 ayahuasca, right? Oh, God, yeah. It, yeah, Dustin's uploading videos where I'm, like, doing rape raps and stuff, like, uh, You guys did ayahuasca last week? No, no. Some, so a guy gave us a jar of, if you're listening in customs, the, a guy gave us a, a jar of, or just the police, just the regular police also, okay. <laughs> or just, like, an Amazon tribe if you want to murder us. any number of criminals. If you're a talking jaguar, you might be interested in this. Uh... The, the uh, oh, well, they're, now they'll all be able to talk to us. Um, a, 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 a fan of ours in, uh, where were we? I don't know, what's that? It doesn't it matter. Uh, Madison. Madison. No, it, was, it, was, it wasn't. It was Madison. Okay, thank you. We were in, Mad we were in Madison, and a fan of ours uh, who had come all the way up from uh, somewhere south of the Chattahoochee. Um, right. Uh, the, uh, he brought a jar of, he just went up to the boom mic operator, the sound guy on the documentary. He didn't give it to me, he didn't give well, it to, because Brandon he just gave him a jar of like black tar and said, that's ayahuasca. <laughs> this is a game of time. It's not really ayahuasca. It might just be Coke. <laughs> like the beverage, it's oh. dark brown. <laughs> well, it looks like it could be, yeah. yeah. So he gave you a jar of hallucinogens? Supposedly. Yeah. I mean, Brandon, our sound guy, is the, is the stoniest looking member of the group. Uh, yeah. Brandon, he, where are you at? <laughs> Show yourself, Brandon. I don't know if you guys saw the photo of him doing karaoke wherever we were, and he had the hands all over the microphone. He can do a he does a mean beatbox. Brandon, get up here, beatbox time. <laughs> the, 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 audience, the audience is lukewarm, but oh, okay, so just more more rapping. All right. Uh, thought thought you would talk about uh, masturbating more. Brandon Lilius, for his debut on stage, I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> this, this, this sounds made up, but like, 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 this, this sounds absolutely made up. Brandon is a fourth generation sound engineer. His, <laughs> and, 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 his, doesn't his, that predate sound? His, well, that's the thing. His, like, this sounds absolutely made up. His great grandfather, oh, his great grandfather did sound on the jazz singer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> was like, <laughs> and, not, and not the Neil Diamond one. But there was actually a, a movie before the Jazz Singer. Jazz Singer was the first talkie, but there was sound in a movie previous to that that year. Don Juan, yeah, basically they had uh, sound. They recorded the soundtrack for Don Juan, which is music. Which at the time, having an actor talk was very controversial. So yeah, <laughs> sounds it sounds made up, right? Like he's a sociopath. Oh yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not just a boom operator. I'm actually part of a long lineage of people who. Oh my old my. <laughs> B Biff Tannen uh, <laughs> started holding a boom mic when it was just a stick and a rock that you cavemen talked into. Uh, yeah, it was a shell and a pelican. <laughs> it's a living. But <laughs> if, he's, if he's lying, he's busted now. Wait, but also, like, when did you find this out? When I was away? Yeah, man. Dude, we grew together. Fuck yeah. hell. I'm so jealous. You guys. Were All that time you deep. spend taking us to places that aren't dinosaur bars. Uh, you you can use that to grow as a human being. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm shallow. I, I, don't, I don't deny that, but you guys are really connecting out there. That's been yeah, you're, you're a foodie. We, we became a foodie. We, we became human. I'm a foodie. <laughs> We're people in. I'm not a foodie because I hate that word, so I'm a, more of a wordy. I'm not a foodie because I hate that word. A beat boxing like his mouth is a turd. He's got the big sounds coming out of his mouth. I got a red in on the beat box going down south. Got a mountain top on Denver. Got a, a beat box. <laughs> sorry, 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 I'm listening to him. Okay, hold on. Beat box, beat box, beat box, beat box, go. I'm talking into the mic stand. Now I got a mic, so let's see how this will land. 
I don't even know what else I can say. You just kind of gave it to me in a half-assed way and expected me to start rapping for all of y'all. I don't ever know, but I'm having a ball. It's a really great time on the Harmon Town, and everybody knows I'm standing here throwing it down, but I'm sitting. Dice roll, Spencer. Yo, pussy roll, Spencer. Got the Spencer on the mic, got the Spencer on the rug. Fucked your mama so hard that she thought I was a bug. She said, my pussy's so big, you're so small. Fucked your mama so hard, she looked like she had a ball. She was in a room with a chandelier. I gave her two balls and a dick and said, here. Yo. 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 Guy with a beard's gonna do a little rap now. No. Okay. No. 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 Yo. No dance break. No. It's an all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Brandon. It's, it's funny because his job is to capture sound, but he's a, as a giant with a booming voice that has a great boop, beatbox. And, he really is enormous. Yeah. And, he, and loud. <laughs> it's funny. He's like, he's supposed to capture sound, but he, he creates so much more than he captures. Maybe not more than he captures. It makes him sound like a bad sound guy. That makes him. His, the ghost of his great grandfather is gonna gonna haunt him, and, and it's gonna say, crisp, clean, boo. <laughs> like no, there will be no clipping. It will not. There will be no plosives. Boo, <laughs> boo. Um, it's my grandpa, the guy that that invented the Dixie cup and the string. <sighs> Jeff, what what what? How do we? How do we? How do we? How do we make people love each other? Well, uh, turn the lights down real low. <laughs> I, I think you do, uh, what you do is be honest. You, uh, you, you, you expose yourself, and that, 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 that allows other people to release themselves out there, too. Alternate pitch. <laughs> Sports corner! His knowledge of local sports teams and statistics will blow your mind. Brought to you by Fat Tire. Fat Tire Bear gets you fucked up. <laughs> That's it for Sports Corner. Thanks, everybody. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Hey, Dan. Yeah, Jeff. Uh, Denver, Colorado. Uh, you, uh, Holy shit, what a season. Yeah, what a season. Uh, so uh, you, you, you said it was your first time at Mile High Skating. What do you, what do you take away from that oh, experience? Oh God! You know, if, if there's ever been an altar to the, the to the grace that is the uh, America's favorite sport. Uh, 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 it, it is it is Mile High Stadium. You can feel the fans there. You can feel that they're getting what they want, wanting what they get. You can you can sense just even when the place is empty. I go down there with my daughter every 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 fall, and I, I sit and I and I just take it. I, I tell her this is this is the, this is the stadium that God built for this sport and this sport alone. Now, this I, is, I, I don't mean to change uh, to change sports, but. Uh, what do you think is the most important role on, on the Colorado Rockies? The most important position on the Rockies? Um, uh, definitely the, the, the top position, like the... The, 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 most, the, the most significant player yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 and role, position. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. highest one. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 most, the most significant on the, yeah. on the field. Tyler. <laughs> who plays... Perry. <laughs> Ty Ty Tyler who plays Perry. Well, he'll be, he'll be playing Perry next season, but Tyler okay. is on top now. I mean, do, do, do you think the Rockies can rebuild after last season? I think the Rockies are in the downslide, but that can be a precursor to an upswing. Right. I, I believe that, as my grandpa used to say in Oklahoma back when we used to watch the Nuggets. Oklahoma? Oklahoma? <laughs> I thought you called your grandpa Oklahoma. <laughs> a great. I'm from Wisconsin, Jeff, where grandpas are known as Uncle Homos. 
It's like a Mima or a, or a Pop Pop. Uh, we, in Wisconsin, we called our grandpas Uncle Homos. My, I, I, I understand that's an offensive phrase, but hey. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, what sport do the Rockies play? Uh, yeah, the America's favorite. The kids? They play ball, man. They play ball. <laughs> they play football. No. Basketball. Yeah, right. yeah, you're right. You're right. And they play basketball. Yeah, basketball. I know. <laughs> what, are you, what are you quizzing me? I'm the sports guy. Listen, those Nuggets gotta get out there at like front and center, yeah. or the Rockies are gonna take it. Are you saying that the the the, the, uh, the Denver Nuggets are doing, doing so poorly that the Colorado Rockies might move in on their action? I, 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 stranger things have happened, Jeff, with the wild card system and going to the second procedurals. We've got a second tertiary format here, a seven ten split, veritably speaking. And the all conference, would you go to all stars and then you come down to the single individuals? Then what we're talking about is a potential Nuggets coup over the Rockies in the spring semester, um, or, or, or you know, or it's not a forty point spread. When you <laughs> they agree. They seem to agree. I mean, there's, there's some, there's some there's, you know, the, the, the sports uh, news cycle, you know, we've, we've heard so much about it, but we're, we're, you know more than anybody. We're, we're, when do you think that this NHL lockout's going to end? Uh, I, I, God, Jeff, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Yardage. Sports point of the I can't tell the difference between Grey Goose and Kettle One, but I can tell the difference between Ciroc, Snap Frost, like uh, Yeah, the venue doesn't have Kettle One had a chance to be our sponsor. They have Grey Goose. Grey Goose is great. Uh, goose. So you but thought. It's fine. Vodka's vodka. Honestly, kids. You know what breaks my heart, Jeff, is when the... the, the when uh, the kids don't know their vodka? Yeah. Uh, we play, play these venues that are 21 plus or 18 plus 21 or whatever they are. Uh, and uh, and then when we're signing things uh, uh, after the show. So every once in a while, like, two people my age will come up to me and go, Hera, could you sign us for our daughter, Ariel? Uh, she's 16. She's not allowed to come she's to the mermaid. show. She's a mermaid. And I go, well, well she... Are you Jesus Christ, you guys? Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to cause another fight? Uh, yes. I, I'm sorry I picked that name, but 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 they go they go. She can't she can't come tonight, and then like, we came, and then they go because her ponytails are too uh, too red and bouncy. And, right. And uh, she had volleyball practice. Right. And. Uh, God, my point, Jeff, is that sometimes, every once in a while, like in, in every, every third city, like a, a set of parents will come up to me, one or more parents, who aren't even fans of the show, don't even care, so who sit for two hours and listen to me talk about decks and balls and, 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 and rapping and Dungeons and Dragons, and they're only here like for the, just to, to get like a signature for their underage uh, child. It's really, it really like bums me out. I, 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 and I'm like, did you have a good time? And they're like, you're great, you're great. Like, just, her name's Rachel, and, and can't wait to drive this back to Omaha. Like, like that's fucked up. Like, 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 like they're be best parents, first of all. They deserve better than two hours of me. Uh, be best kid in the world, I don't know. What do you do there, Jeff? What do you do? Do you sing a song? No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think you sing the song. We should, we should, let's meet some people from our audience. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm spraying. I, 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 my, my mustache is. I, I'm spraying vodka all over everyone. We, well, you, you've eaten all the cheese sticks, so that doesn't matter. There's, there's, there's one left. Do you want to get that? There's two left. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Eric. Jesus, I'm gonna die. Well, you're, you're not putting up much of a fight. I'm gonna die, Jeff. There was 18 pizza boxes in that room today. <laughs> Dan, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. People like you. I don't deserve to be loved. <laughs> Dan, Kansas City was a fluke. I wasn't there. The room was bad. You're not a bad They had so many nachos. <laughs> I gotta get back on my diet, Jeff. Yeah, so what day? You're, you're I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm verging on Ackroyd. Like, I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna be Ackroyd by Portland. He got pretty large. Ackroyd got, got inexplicably I, large. I, I, I He'd be into how, how, how weird it is, how large he got. 
he'd be, he'd be like, oh, it's a mystery. Maybe the crystal skull made me so fat. But I told you once that I, that I somehow, like an after, after, after party, ended up at Dan Aykroyd's house. Yeah, and, yeah. and he was as big as a poor person's house. But fortunately, he had a huge mansion <laughs> where, where houses fit inside. There were poor it. people living in him. <laughs> But he, hey, I, keep it down out there. We're trying to write a, 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 our version of Ghostbusters. But it was like it was like three or four a.m. and uh, he just made a pizza, and not, not not like took a DiGiorno out of the freezer and put it in the oven. Like he he just he just shook his shirt out. And... <laughs> All the dough came out. Ears like a sauce. Like a golden retriever getting out of a river and just shook his body, and a pizza came out. Uh, but I said, like, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be a bad friend if I didn't tell you that, like, you know, my best friends and I, we, uh, we think Ghostbusters is one of the best movies of all time. And he was like, hey, you know what? Like, like, he, he just, he wanted to talk about Ghostbusters all night long. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry we made fun of how fat he is. <laughs> if he's listening. <laughs> and he, he, he almost certainly is listening. <laughs> I don't, Big Trouble? I didn't see Big Trouble. Big Trouble was, oh, that was a doozy. Was, 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 he, was he just big in that one? He was a, he, he, well, no, he was, I, I didn't see that movie, but he looked like he could have had a fat suit. He, I mean, he was, he was very, very big. I think he's lost weight since then, right? I don't know. These people don't even know who he is. Uh, they're, yeah, they're like, what? Dan Aykroyd, what do you mean? Is he, was he in the, uh, is he in the NSYNC? <laughs> Right, way to go, Harmon. That was a real attempt to like grab a current reference. How do you think on the top of the charts, like pop charts, right? Who's on the top of the charts? Nora, Nora Jones. I don't know. Uh, t- t- Tyler, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler Perry's Velvet Revolver. Like it's got, there's got to be a band that Tyler Perry owns, right? He's, uh, he, right. Tyler Perry's uh, uh, Tyler Perry uh, fl- Flood Bunch. Run DMC. Run DMC, Tyler, right? Tyler Perry and the Funky Bunch. Uh, all right. I want to bring up. I want to bring up. I want to bring up a special guest. Okay. I met her in the bar before we came up here. Have a drink. Yeah. It's the cheese sticks and the altitude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Certainly not the gallon of vodka. <laughs> Uh, is uh, JJ from Vienna here? Slovenia. Slovenia. Wait, she said she's out. She was from. She was. She from came Vienna. From, she was in Vienna at some point. Where is JJ? JJ. JJ, can you make it to the stage? She's got to be the one that drove the furthest. She's from Europe. <laughs> I usually ask who drove the furthest. It's JJ. She's foreign. She's from a different land. She's never been this high on a mountain. Hello, JJ. Hello. Good to see you again. Good to see you. She's come to show us. Uh, do you, are you independently wealthy? How do you? How can you afford to keep flying out here from Europe to see these shows? I think every time I say to go somewhere else to South America, I wanted to go to Peru for a while. Every time it ends up being one of your shows. Well, we're like Peru. We're like Peru. We have ayahuasca. <laughs> we get you high like Peru. Yeah. And, right. you, and you brought us lovely cookies backstage. Those, those awesome uh, those, uh, German little uh, wafers and cookies. And stuff. It's something else waiting for you, but that's after the show. So. Oh. <laughs> Everyone gets late tonight. It's a swinger show. Leave your keys in the cheese basket. Whatever, just puts their keys in a deep fried cheese basket. No, oh, I got. I'm, I'm with. I'm with. I'm with Dave. I'm with Tony. There's three women here. <laughs> uh, JJ, what do you do? I uh, work at the British Embassy in Vienna. The British Embassy in Vienna. And you have that much free time to come see stupid comedy shows like ours? No, I just took a free days off over the weekend as well. And, and you're with a friend too, right? Is she from out, out of? Uh, how many languages do you speak? Four. Which, what, what are they? English. German. German. Slovenian French. Slovenian and French. French. 
Could you uh, give us a? There was a French audience member here as well. Oh yeah. Were you uh, parley uh, hurrying? <laughs> Uh, give us some Slovenian. I don't know that I've ever heard Slovenian. Say, come on down to Harmontown. Turn that frown <laughs> upside down. P is yellow. Poop. Oh, so you gotta do it. Can you sing, could you sing that uh, our little hook in Slovenian? Is, is that, that possible? possible? Oh. oh. All right. International UK power mix. <laughs> Lady Gaga style. I don't know what that means. Just grabbing. Okay, Dan, you want to lead her in? Yo, 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 international, I'm irrational, I'm irrational, national, international, motherfucker, gonna rap so hard, gonna drop the mic, Chris Tucker style. Chris Rock drops the mic, Chris Tucker's another person, the races are alike, that makes me racist. I, I didn't confuse them. I love black people. Take so it, DJ. Are mobile, got you. AT and T and your TTs on my sprint. I'm gonna put it in her PP. Pee -pee. Rap it more. <laughs> Just gonna rap some more. I fucked your mama in the house in a garage. Spencer is gonna come to the mic. I'm gonna hand it off cause he's who you like. Yo, I got monsters in a cage and everybody sees me cause I'm all the rage and I don't need rage like a barbarian rage. Let me get off this run, let me turn the page. That's all I got, let me see if I can try some more. Maybe I'll just sit up here and fry. I think that's all I got right now, so we'll go to the chorus. so hard she said fabulous <laughs> language is piss just comes out and runs that way in this nobody knows what any words mean we don't we all say what we say and then we see what we mean I, I, I rhyme with mean with mean I'm, I'm, I'm doing a bad scene I'm, I'm a bad person I'm 40 years old and I'm, I'm, I'm lean cuisine I, I don't want to be fat don't want to be Dan Aykroyd don't want to get as big as that I just want a ghost bust who's you gonna call I'm gonna call Jenny Craig to, before I take a diabetes fall <laughs> International. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. Thank you, JJ. Slovenia, JJ. Slovenia, JJ. Get away from me. Slovenia. Sorry, I got excited. 
It's the altitude. I'm good, I'm good. I'm, Jesus Christ, something terrible is happening back there. The guy's freaking out because there's like, a, it's like a, a U, there's UN people with earpieces. They're like, what's he saying? What's he really saying? We have to clear it through YouTube before they stream it. I guess we're about time to play D&D, right? Yeah. I just wanted Denver to give itself a hand for being the first international show. <laughs> you know. Altitude. There's uh, the electricity doesn't get uh, through right. the cords as fast. Hey, fun, fun show. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you guys are great. I'm not pandering. <laughs> You're backstage watching Gator Boys, right? <laughs> yeah, you watching Gator no, Boys. No, I, 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 they, they set me up in a nice little booth and brought me tacos and uh, drinks, and I've just been sitting back there like a king. Oh. My feet up on the on the chairs, and it's been great. They they asked me to leave, but it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. They, they asked you to leave? Not really. I'm just making a joke because I said I put my feet up on the chairs. Oh, got it. Um, it's okay, everybody. Um, we should find you a stool, or here you sit on this one. I feel okay. I feel weird. I, I'm okay. Well, I, uh, there's only we have to share a mic. We'll edit this part out where I'm talking about the <laughs> mic that we have to share, but then I won't edit it out. Because it'll have charm. How, right. how do you feel about us sharing a mic? Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spencer, get us up to date because I missed a bit. So uh, catch me up if you would. Last time we met, our heroes had been journeying in the belly of the beast, the mysterious and mythical Infinifish. After Sharpie found what looked like a lung, the group rejoined and entered through a large cavity that Quark had slashed in the side of the great organ. Entering the lug, a slimy creature had dropped in from the ceiling onto the bottom of this chamber, followed by several electrical spidery minions. After the dust of combat had settled, Sharpie, Quark, and Mulrain were victorious. Hoping to damage the lung with the smoke from their smoke sticks, Sharpie and Mulrain ignited them as well as all their torches. And as the damage was being dealt to the vicious lung, Quark destroyed the remnants with his flaming sword, and together they all fell below back into the chamber before they had left. Ah, uh, yeah. They had made some progress, but where would they proceed from here? Thank you, Spencer. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. Seems yeah. like now that he's a, now that he's a, big, he's a big rap star now, so he's phoning in his DMing. Like, no, you know, I just no, lost my place in the writing reading. He sounds like uh, Don LaFontaine now, like the world. Like, yeah. 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 He's kicking back. He's Snoop style now. He's yeah. like, yeah. I don't know. In a world, will you? Found a sword. Yeah, don't try to pick a fight with Spencer on stage. I want. I need. I need for my documentary that I'm producing about myself. I need a death to happen. I need. I need a conflict. Well, maybe you'll die in this in this round of D and D. Yeah. Take some fucking chances out there, man. Yeah. Okay. Have another cheese stick. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. God, I, was, I was joking, honey. I was joking. <laughs> Baby, no. Baby. on his face for the mozzarella. He's crying ranch tears right now. <laughs> that is truly horrifying. <laughs> You've got on your eyelashes. <laughs> Don't Instagram me! Problem, sir. No, don't, no, 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 no,
Oh. Yeah, no. no. Her no. Uh, table of enablers. No. Um, she has hey guys. Anybody have one of those? Uh, <laughs> Has anyone else gone so off the diet that you start putting food in places that doesn't go? <laughs> ranch in your ears. Yes. And you had ranch mascara on for a moment. That was wild. Oh boy. All right. By the way, the shame of Jeff walking yes. into our hotel room earlier today was uh, palpable. <laughs> I, I was, I was, we, when it, we opened the door and, and you were standing there, I was scared because I knew it was inside that room. Yeah, it looked, <laughs> like, it looked like a city fucking dump. <laughs> no, it did look like a city dump. I mean, there, there was a large collection of plates and things. There was but. plates and there was pizza boxes and there was a, there was a, there was a uh, it looked like the, 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 the There's a lot of love. A skeletized uh, lamb. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There, there, there wasn't any ranch because he certainly had drunk it all. <laughs> yeah. oh, there, 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 don't I, let him hurt you. Don't let him hurt you. <laughs> don't make your don't, don't make your, your your movie arc death an actual death. Arc. <laughs> it's a bad movie. <laughs> this is gonna be a long ride for the bus. <laughs> the only one thing is gonna make me feel better. Ice cream! <laughs> what if we had ice cream dancers come out? Uh, and then the show would stop and you would eat ice cream. Yeah. That's what would happen. That okay, the so show. Watching me eat ice cream could be the show. These people love me no matter what I do. They love me. I create a community! Seven days. Yeah, but, but that rebellion has become a really aggressive, violent thing against your health and our children. <laughs> I saw you put some cheese sticks down in Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill across the way. Those were potato no, skins. No, Get your shit no, straight. That was zucchini. That was zucchini. Oh, okay. And I ate the zucchini out of the fried uh, edges. Yeah. Those are just uh, the healthy zucchini with the fried in the ranch. <laughs> like, to Toby Keats is, by the way, there's room over there. If uh, <laughs> if you guys want to go to Toby Keats, what, what's what's the name of his bar? Toby Keats fade in on me loving something. Uh, cut, cut to smash cut. A car chase. Uh, dragon comes down from the sky. I I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And uh, let's go to a bar tonight. Toby Keats uh, hubris. A hubris <laughs> bar. Exactly. Toby Keats. I can't lose. Toby Keats. <laughs> Page uh, name for a bar. There, there's room for 4,000 people at that bar. There were like only three people in there. It was really. Oh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the laminate sticker that they used to make the drywall that the bar is made out of make like look like wood. The, the, the sticker is like coming off everywhere. And I, I was like, we were trying to figure out like, oh, like a do people dance on the bar? Is that why it's like let's all feel bad? Boogieing up there. That's why all the laminate. Because that would be a cool reason. It's like, oh yeah, it's 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 it's, 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 it's a honky tonk. Like we we we. we Honky the tonk off the top of the bar. <laughs> we, I, I asked the bartender, I said, well, how does this happen? And she goes, I don't know, they just pick at it. They, the, the, the animals that you, that you are a zookeeper for, they just pick at it. That's like something you'd hear in a zoo. They, they just pick at it, I don't know. They think the tire's a swing, they think, uh, they, the, 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 the giraffes mistake the Rusty Jones sticker for a berry, that's why they're, they're breaking the windows on your cars. <laughs> TK. Let's all go over there and let's see if we can pick off like like like, like right Harmon Town. Does anybody have a chisel or a? Or a it's grody over there, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's, a, it's a bummer. It's yeah, a bummer. I, I expected more out of Toby Keith, really. <laughs> <laughs> That, that name screams class. That guy's made a living out of supporting troops. Nothing more. There's a there's a there's a lobby and it's just it's, it's, it's filled with pictures of him supporting the troops. That's it. It's like he's playing guitar and all these different forms of camouflage yeah, and all these different. Like, do you think that? Do you think he's so like, fucking full of his own shit? Fuck you, Toby Keith. You're bigger than me. They kick my ass, but I will fucking I'll console your fucking shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> It's not good. Not, not good. Hey, Toby. Like, Toby. 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 <laughs> Toby. <laughs> Toby. Toby. <laughs> it's Toby Keith. What's your last name? <laughs> Jeff, you, I think you know more about 
about Toby Keith than I do. Do you think, like, if he was to walk into that bar in the same way that we walked into it. the bar? I know but, he would love it. Well, wait, but with it empty, would he be like, well, that's that's a Tuesday? Or, like, what, <laughs> like, what, if, what would his reaction be? Uh, How would he justify it? I don't it? think he would walk into it because I don't think he has any connection to this thing. I think it's a stupid corporate adventure, or venture rather. I would really like to hear Jeff's to, to, Toby Keith's song. Isn't there a country song on the iPad? Yeah. Can you just sing a song about Toby? To, do, do Toby Keith's commercial for. <laughs> Jeff never sings enough of the show. Well, I'm a big old fat ass dickhead. <laughs> Pissing on the graves of Hank and all the people that sang country before. And I support the troops. What a bold fucking stance that is. I'm a modern hero, gonna put a flag on everything. <laughs> Fuck you, my fat. So there's the troops, come on, troops, come on, troops, everybody, troops. Shall we name this bar and grill? Now I know you. Toby said, Keith, I love this grill. <laughs> okay. I love it. Okay. I love troops and grill. No, but, okay, but Toby, Toby Keith, I love Toby, Toby, Toby Keith's troops and grills. Toby, that's that's not so much a name. Let's have our grill troops to have on. Okay. All right. Jared, his eyes are bleeding, so we're just gonna call oh, it there. We're gonna call it that. The grill troops. <laughs> A basket of delicious buffalo troops. <laughs> well, it's hard to love a troop because oh, it's really, really hard because there are people that might die. Yeah. Who doesn't love it's not a bold stand the fuck, Who doesn't fucking, support the fucking troops? Everybody supports the fucking troops. We love the troops. They're doing, they're doing the greatest, shittiest, hardest job in the world. They do it with great valor and stuff. I'm not talking shit about the troops. It's just you can't go on Colbert and go, man, the fucking flag, American flag, greatest country. <laughs> it's, it's not interesting conversation, Toby, and your music stinks, and I'll, I'll fucking fight you right after the show. <laughs> but, but, but. Like he's a great guy, man. He's a lovely gentleman. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Toby. We're all pals. While well, my friend is fighting you, could I just one more order of potato skins? Sorry? They're really good. One more order of potato skins. Uh, uh, the, 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 troop, the troop potato a skins. A doop, a troop, a troop, a troop, a troop potato Star sprinkled French fries and <laughs> shitty hillbilly I take, a, I take a little potato skin and I load it. Up with troops. I <laughs> shit on my legitimate grave yesterday just to prove a point. Come on down, down troops. Occupy <laughs> your appetite with the, with the AK 47 up. <laughs> Occupy uh, your appetite with the AK 47 Got an Apache full of french fries, half price appetizers, Toby Keys, I love the troops, and I fucked your mom. <laughs> And his bar is absolutely empty across the street, and that gives me a fucking thrill to see that. <laughs> also, and while I'm saying this, yes, it's not a bold statement to go, God bless America all the time. Yes, of course. Of yes, course, yes, God yes. bless America. Yes. What else is God gonna bless? The Irish? <laughs> Where are they? Yeah, yeah. But also, I. I oh, oh, shit, there's an Irish guy? Yeah, Irish I will. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll get to Jeremy Seinfeld, but I was, I was gonna say. It's not really in, in this audience, I'm also being a hypocrite. It's not a bold stance to say, fuck you, Toby Keith. Man. <laughs> That's true, too. I'm, you're, I'm, not, I'm not Bill Hicks. I'm you're the shadow that Toby Keith casts. <laughs> he creates a bio oh, nerd, so Toby Keith's kind of a dick, right? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he's a, yeah, he's, he, he writes songs about giving people swirlies. Like, uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> Dude, you gotta write you gotta write what you know, man. To Toby Keith, Toby Keith write, writes what he knows, we, we write what we know. I'm sure he's a great person. <laughs> <laughs> no, he certainly isn't. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, let, let, let's, uh, let, let's, let's proceed back. Uh, also, don't be, don't be big and muscular at St. Country. There's something wrong. It's like Joe Piscopo when he got big and muscular. You're not funny with giant biceps. Like, don't be a big muscle-bound guy in St. Country. I like Garth Brooks swinging around on a wire. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Okay. He takes his job seriously. He's swinging around on a wire. All right, Spencer, I examined my surroundings. You're in a large circular room. <laughs> the walls drip with a green mucus. Wait, this is Toby Keith's place. <laughs> The laminate is picked off the walls. <laughs> the appetizers are supportive of the troops. And an air of silence and American misery hangs flags. over this area. <laughs> the salt and pepper shakers are hand grenades. <laughs> Camouflage lines the bathrooms. Fr French fries are called Freedom Freedoms. <laughs> they say really quickly before I forget that Dungeon Master Spencer and I will be selling merch in that corner. After the show, t-shirts, $15 or two for 25 And if you buy anything, I'll sign it. Also, I'll, I'll sign anything if you don't buy anything. I'll sign a napkin. That's the Toby Keith guarantee. <laughs> don't sign it, Toby Keith, man. I'm not going to. I'll sign it, Toby Keith. If you, if you bring me a uh, kidnapped baby, I'll sign it, Toby <laughs> Keith, as a way of getting back at him for holding the nation hostage. I, I wouldn't know a song of his. Uh, what, what song did he sing? Does anybody know Toby Keith's song? Red Solo Cup. Red Solo Cup? Oh, what a fucking cup. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah, wow, clever. What's, what's the point of that song? What's the story of that song, Red, Red Solo Cup? What happened? Let me guess. Can I guess? Can I guess? I don't know. Let Jeff guess. It's a guy that, uh, because of the Red Party Cup's a solo Red Party Cup, but he's solo tonight. The girl left him, so he's got the red. Okay, that's his better song than he wrote. It's not even that complex. All right. It's literally like, hey, we're all at a party and we all have red solo cups. <laughs> so my friends all drink from our red solo cups. Fucking red solo cuppage. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought you were. Yeah, that's, uh, that is heartbreaking. Yeah. Okay. Eric, I got a thin plastic red vessel holding on my beer. And I'm catering to frat boys. The end. <laughs> let's shoot some deer. All right, so let's, let's play some D&D for pity's sake. I could just leave. I mean, no, no, Spencer. Oh, Spencer. Spencer. I mean, I don't mind. It's fine. No. All right. Well, I described the room you were in. Okay, they're turning it up. The sound of the there's like a Whitney Houston song playing. Toby Case upstairs. This is what I mean when I said I could leave. Like, it's fine. No one can. No. Wait, can anyone hear that? Like, like, yeah. like, the, po the, po the podcast won't be able to hear that, though. They won't know what we're talking about. There's like a slight, like a, it's like a, someone's, someone's iPhone is in the rafters. Playing on speaker. It's annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've been, the they've been doing show. it for 80 minutes. <laughs> That's how passive it is. <laughs> it's a now, slow trickle. Well, it's a it's, trickle playoff. Now it's the sound of the infinite fish. Oh, damn. He's been uh, decomposing. Okay, so you, you guys basically beat up the lungs, right? You lungs. beat up yeah. some lungs. Okay, so now we're sitting in, in a room with, are we in the stomach now? You're in that room you were in before with the three different passways. Um, Sharpie took the left, you took the middle, and Maureen took the right, and then you magically decided to go back to where Sharpie was, you know? Right. Yeah. So you're in that room. Obvious exits uh, north, south, and east, and west will take you back to the village. Uh, where have we not been before? You, you've you been through all of them. God, yeah. But you guys just caught back up with Sharpie when you thought he was... Oh, he hit the lungs. Are we still with that far sword guy, or did he go away? He's still around, yeah. Okay. He's hanging out. What's up, guys? I'm Valison, the sword guy. <laughs> all right, well, let's go back to... Uh, we, we, we came through a lung door, so let's not go through that one. Yeah, the, the, the one you were through had a hanging kidney bean-shaped organ, if you'll recall. So, I mean... That's, I, the, that's the kidneys, right? But, I mean, I can't tell you. I, do, I, 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 I rush headlong, barbarian style, into the kidney... Rushing headlong through the passageway, you find yourself in a large pinkish room, which I'm about to explain. <laughs> this passage has a high ceiling from which is hanging a large, shiny, vein-looking sack of flesh in the shape of a kidney bean. And the several arteries run from various walls into the dangling organ, and a huge central cord seems to be its main support coming in from the ceiling. You can see what appear to be large white-blue sparks with multiple limbs slowly crawling around the surface of the organ. A greenish tangle of cords appears to be blocking the only other exit. 
Dun, dun, dun. So these spark things, these are these spider things that repair everything and also will attack us yeah. if we start fucking around. Oh, yeah, they're like an immune response or something. All right, so I, uh, we want to attack that main cord that's holding it up there, right? Probably. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 okay, Valson, use your far sword and take a swipe at that cord. I don't know if you remember, but my far sword's all used up. I, I was I there. Had arrows. You were there. You just <laughs> forgot. I, I am sheep my arrows. I, I show them to Quark. I say, like, hey, remember? I got it. How could I forget? I fire a single uh, good arrow <laughs> at the thing. At the kidney bean? Yep. You miss. Oh. By the way, there was a dude. Did you talk to the dude who brought? He made props. He made. He, he I made did. A, I he made a mole rain show, arrow. Yeah. It's a double, double arrow. Can we? Can, can, I, can I be holding it? Maybe it will, it will make me better. Is there a? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> He's coming out. Right. He Round of applause thing. for this fellow. Luke. What's your name, sir? Luke. Luke. Luke likes to make little props, and he made. Can, uh, this is, uh, she fires two arrows, so I made two Pretty arrows! Amazing! <laughs> Adventure! And the heads of the arrows are four-sided dice. And the most dangerous of all dice. <laughs> and you also made what I thought was a joke about putting a Sharpie in my butt. It's it a was. wand. <laughs> right. It's made out of Sharpies. It's a wand made out of Sharpies. Pretty amazing. That does Ray of Frost yeah. way better than Ray of Frost. All right, great. Thank you. Was it Luke? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Luke. You, Luke. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I, I cast a spell of, uh, of thanking him. <laughs> uh, how, how far above the ground is this uh, kidney thing hanging? I'd say it's about 10 feet above your heads. Uh, I get on. Uh, I jump onto Sharpie's shoulders and take out my flaming sword and take a swipe at the underbelly of the kidney. <laughs> Slashing at the underbelly, you score a flaming hit. <laughs> Just as soon as the gash has been made, however, those spidery creatures I was mentioning earlier crawl over the surface of the organ. So we gotta, we gotta kill those things first, then, right? Probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like AIDS. <laughs> You, you want us to give you a bit of fish AIDS? <laughs> um, I... Fuck it! <laughs> I don't have AIDS. I'm me fucking it doesn't give an AIDS. That's true. That's not uh, AIDS. Do, do, I, wait, 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 Spencer, do I have AIDS? No. Okay. <laughs> do I have a spell that would work on organisms like that? Like these sparky things? The kid, oh, uh, like on the sparky Charm things. person wouldn't work on that. That's for humanoids. Only. Definitely not. Charm person. I mean, you could probably rule out illusions. Hi hi hypnotism eyes. won't work on them. That'd be an illusion. I, I have the power to summon animals. Can I summon an AIDS monkey? An AIDS monkey? <laughs> Can I summon some sort of like... Some I should clarify, you don't have the power to summon things. Just talk to them. Oh. So if there's a squirrel around, you're like, I look, Yo, is there a squirrel around? I look, I look around for AIDS-ridden animals. Suspiciously, all AIDS-ridden animals are absent. <laughs> Maybe Spencer, can, I, can I shoot two arrows at the uh, kidney? You definitely could. Wait, is that what I want to do? I'm sorry? Yeah. Oh, that's it's okay. Hanging, hanging thanks, thanks, hat brothers. Um, I would like to shoot two arrows at the stem connecting the kidney. What kind of arrows? I mean, the smart the Yeah, V smart. arrows. Thank you, Stephen. The V arrows. Yeah. The V arrows. One of your arrows misses its mark, planting itself right in the wall to your left. The Never other one it. strikes in a critical fashion. No. Same time. It's, it's not bad for a spider, but we're talking lightning spiders, bro. 
<laughs> At the same time, the electric bolt I mentioned earlier coursing through your system deals a damage to you. Uh, eight, that's nothing. You feel quite a, quite a jolted by that. All right. There you go. Scorching rain! <laughs> What? Scorching rain. What? What are you shooting oh, at? at? The, uh, at the stem uh, connected to the kidney. <laughs> at the damaged stem. You miss. <laughs> the scorching ray flies into the wall and immediately blackens the surface, but quickly regenerates back to its former glory. I climb back up on Sharpie's shoulders and I take my emerald dagger and just jab it right up in the right up in the thing. <laughs> Right up the kidneys. Do kidneys have butts? Uh, there's a crease somewhere. I, okay, I, I put it in the kidney crease. Sliding your dagger directly into the keys, crease of what we're considering a kidney for the purposes of this exercise, a burst of brilliant green light flows out. The kidney starts glowing with an intense bright light, and it's not long before shimmering big rays of light are blasting out of the surface of the kidney. You can see all the spiders are frantically trying to heal what damage is being done, but at the same time they can't keep up. Soon you're covered in a shower of giblets as the kidney explodes. Giblet <laughs> shower! <laughs> 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 Coming to Toby Keith's, I love giblet showers and grill. <laughs> Two for one giblet showers are happening at the back of the bar, in front of the bar. You can peel off the lacquer and eat it. <laughs> Lion dancing's coming up. You hoochie coochie till you smoochie doochie. <laughs> We're gonna play uh, footage of, of, of weapons tests uh, on, the, on, the, on the video wall. All right, so uh, do we, did we kill this thing? And just pray for another war. We're just gonna get down on our knees and just pray for war. The organ has exploded, but your actions have pissed off those things I was talking about, and they shoot lightning towards you. Oh. I, I, the giblets aren't harmful, right? The I giblets shoot. are just embarrassing and gross. I shoot two sleep arrows but towards But not before the... taking 12 lightning damage every one. Are we okay? I don't know. How much HP do you have? How much what? How much what do I have? HP, that thing that tracks how dead you are. Hit <laughs> points. I should really teach you guys how to play this at some point. I didn't know hit, I didn't know hit points were called HP. I thought that was a sauce you put on french fries and pop. Well, you do that too. I, I have 27 HP. Damn, well now you have 15. Hi, right, Spencer. I thought we were friends. So. You can get hurt and be friends. No, it's okay. It just I, really seems like we're not friends right now. Can we spend all that time together? I, I go into a, I go into a rage, a barbarian rage. Okay. And I, and I start spinning. It's faster and faster and faster. And I plunge myself with my, with my sword attack into the thing and try to take out as many as lightning spiders as I can. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. That's a tricky move. I'm gonna call that an advanced cleave action. Yeah, that's what I call it. You mean an, an, an AC A? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could, I could have said it. I could have told you I, I want to do an ACA, but these fuckers, they wouldn't have. Man, I like your Paul Lind head shake. Is there... <laughs> Thanks, Gavin. <laughs> swinging your sword I'm in swinging circular my sword. fashion. <laughs> You strike the first spider. There's spiders everywhere. <laughs> Jeff, you're millering, you're millering. <laughs> Sorry, cha cha. You only managed to deal eight to the spider, but as it was already wounded from your earlier dagger, it falls to the ground and dissipates into white energy. Uh, the, the kidney does? The kidney? No, the kidneys are exploded. Oh, you have giblets, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for killing a spider. <laughs> I was in Charlotte's <laughs> web, you know. <laughs> it says crushing. <laughs> I put it on my Instagram. Lauren, you're up. Do a okay. thing. <laughs> Do a thing. I like Let's vagueness. See. I'm going to take two of my V arrows. Nice. I'm going to shoot them at the thing that's the best to 
shoot at. You pick the best of three identical enemies to fire at. And firing two I arrows. I shoot them at a lightning creature. Yeah, those are the ones we're fighting. Firing them directly at the lightning creatures. Both of your arrows make their mark, dealing... And... 11 damage apiece. The spiders are moving. They scuttle up the ceiling and dissipate in the ceiling. Who wants giblets? <laughs> Valison pipes up. He's like, yeah, I make sandwiches out of this shit, man. I'll, I'll take a giblet sandwich. Hell yeah, let me get my bread of holding. <laughs> it's just regular bread. It's just regular bread. Yeah. I, I cast a uh, delicious mustard. Nice. <laughs> it's, it's spicily effective. <laughs> That seems like a... Yeah, 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 I, I think it's a good place to stop. Let's We're two-thirds through the infinite fish. Come see us at the merch table. We have a limited amount of time. Aaron McCarthy, everybody. Spencer Clinton. A special stand for Mr. Kiss. Thank you, thank you, Luke, for my Sharpie wand. Do you see it fits snugly into the mic stand? Uh, yeah, that would work like perfectly for, yeah. There's nothing, Jeff, I think before everyone everyone dies, everyone needs to have a podcast where they tell people they put something in their butt and then have, have people come to the show with things that they put in their butt and give them to them. Yeah, I mean, you make that thing vibrate, you have a legitimate sex to it. That's just a wonderful goddamn dream that I'm living. I've turned 40, I came across the country, I crowd surfed in Brooklyn. And now we're at the top of the country, the top of it, a mile above sea level, looking down through the clouds. Are we the highest capital? No. Highest capital. Highest capital. Highest capital. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. stretching for a, for a record. You know what I like though? It's a relief to be in a, in a city where it's the biggest city and the capital. Like, like there's so many states where you go like, eh, it's not the capital, but it's, it's the biggest city. I feel like we didn't really get to know Denver all that well tonight. We were kind of doing our own thing. Over we're going to fix that right now. Yeah. We're going to fix that. I want to know who's. I want to know who's hurting the most, and I really mean that. Like, who had who had the worst day? Like, okay, this guy's. Kind of, he's kind of uncertain about it. What's your name? My name is Keller. Keller. Okay. Is that why? <laughs> Dan. Dan. He's hurting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was an easy joke. There's, there's a funny story about that. I was at a party with someone uh, from. Switzerland, uh, and she asked me, like, is your name really Keller? And I was like, hey, yeah. And she's like, you know that means basement, right? <laughs> basement. Like cellar. Like cellar, exactly, like cellar. Sorry, like dirty, sorry. underground, shameful. <laughs> it's a sad name, sad name, sad, sad, creepy, skeevy name. So what happened? What, what happened? What happened? To you that, why, why are you having a bad day? Just the, 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 well, for one, it's been like 65 years, which is a strange thing to bitch about. It's really nice weather, and it's the end of January. I don't understand. Oh, you should, oh, oh you're, wor you're worried about global warming. It's, uh, the weather's weird. That's why you're, you're, are you a scientist? No. I, I, yeah, I was, a, I was an English major. <laughs> okay, so what, what's depressing about it being 65? If I, it's not typical. Forget that. It was a lame thing to be uh, upset about. Um, what, the, what's, what's the deeper trouble, though? If, if little things like that, I'm not, I'm not joking, if little things like that are bothering you, like what's, what's you the... Please, please, we'll talk to this lady over here because she's very tall. What, what is your name, miss? I'm Lexi. Lexi? Huh. What, what does that mean in Swiss? It, mean, it means worst friend ever. You've been really... <laughs> <laughs> You're really heckling your friend. <laughs> we show up the same to, in, in a, uh, we dress the same at parties. We, we show up at parties wearing the same outfits. And that's why I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, guys. <laughs> what, 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 okay, you're a poetry major. You got a degree in poetry. Your name is L L L Lex Luther. Uh, what's it? Luke, Luke? Keller. Keller. Keller, Keller, right. And, and it's warm outside. Uh, what, what did we go, like, today was a bad day because 
Oh. Hey, Lexi, pipe it. <laughs> so it's, it's basically, my, my issue is, I, not that I lack direction in life, it's just like, I, I was, everybody, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, audience. Um, I, it's okay, I do, I do the same thing you're doing for 90 minutes, and, and, they, and I charge them $20. No, no, no. So I, I, was, I was a creative writing major, not a, not a poetry major. Gee, I haven't more offended. I want to tell stories to people for a living, but I have no idea how to go about that. Well, we're going to help you with that right now. Fuck me, awesome! Come <laughs> right, to the stage, get up here, brother. Tell her, we're gonna, we're gonna give you the gift of storytelling. We're gonna, we're gonna make a story. <laughs> we're, we're going pretty long here, so we might wanna... No, we're gonna make this very quick. That's good, this is how we're gonna end. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask him to come up. I, was, I said, we're gonna help you with that right now. Then you said, come up. I just think it's better to have him up so we can all get along. Yeah, yeah, well, look at him, folks. Uh, All right, Keller. So, 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 uh, let's see here. All right, so you're you're, you're struggling with uh, how to tell a story uh, in, in in like what like kind of a master work that you're supposed to produce for your uh, class or what are you? Are you uh, uh, it you want to be a writer, writer? A, a novelist, a screenwriter? What do you want to be? Uh, I, I, uh, my my aspiration is to write comics. Uh, first, first of all, I'm a shitty fucking artist. Uh, second. Hey, no, it's just the truth. Now, more people need to admit that, really. I, coming from the world of comics, like, it's, a, it's heroic of you to just say, I, I draw badly. <laughs> um, so I, I want to do that, but Denver isn't a good publishing place. I, I, I'm from Fort Collins. Is <laughs> <laughs> hey. Fort Collins? Oh, I Lexi, calm the fuck down. <laughs> said who had a terrible day Keller raised his hand I think Lexi had a worse one for some well I think I, I think the reason for Keller's bad day is Lexi <laughs> I think I think where, where did you drive here from uh, from Fort Collins with Lexi in the back seat no no no, no. Oh, thank Christ uh, <laughs> she's like that's a dumb gas station oh, that was crazy oh, everyone's hair's on fire just kidding oh. I'm desperately trying to figure out how to turn a conversation with you into a hilarious uh, improvised bit. Uh, uh, that, that's that's my math on the table. Uh, uh, so so you write comics like you're you're from Fort Collins. You're in Denver. You you want to write comics. You're bad at drawing. You 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 and you're looking for a story so good that it would make a great comic book, right? I always. Okay. All right. So what's your favorite thing ever? Bananas, okay? <laughs> and bananas. what was your mom's name? Samantha? Alias on made up name? No, what's your mom's name? What's your mom's name? Uh, Ellen. Ellen. And that, mean, that means attic. <laughs> <laughs> and, your, and, your, <laughs> and your favorite movie? Oh, fuck. Um, or just a favorite movie, didn't you? Uh, American Astro. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. Never saw Tell her, everybody. American oh, Astronauts is favorite movie. He's a comic artist. Uh, he's looking for the perfect story. His name means seller. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and here is his biopic. Bananas! Get your bananas! Ah, I really like one of those bananas. Ah. Oh, nice. Oh, my oh, careful. These aren't regular bananas. These bananas will give you everything you possibly could want, but it comes at a terrible, terrible price. Okay, well, I, I don't want to, I, I just want to know, uh, I just want to have the banana. I just, look, look, can I explain something to you? I'm a writer. I, 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 I don't know. I'm a banana salesman. I, I just, can, can I, I just need to eat I some. Sell, I sell mythical bananas, and I don't have all day to talk with people like this. Uh, I'll take three of them. Okay. That'll be four dollars. There you go. All right. All right. I'm going back to my, my basement where I live. 
Remember, Keller, I named you Basement, so you would never get ahead in life. Oh, oh bitch, Ellen. Oh. All right, I gotta try to draw this comic book. Stupid! Oh. Don't be stupid! Lexi! Lexi, I didn't know you were down here. I'm trying to draw a comic book. seconds of meeting them. Because you shot her with a banana dot. Right. <laughs> you, is it a curse or are you, do you just kill people that are your customers? It's my curse. I'm a murderer. Uh, Seems like good story material. Bye-bye. It is good story material. I hate to be ghoulish, but I've never had a better idea. Oh, maybe I could stop trying to draw things and just write I, an idea. I'm the ghost of Lexi. Lexi, you dying is the best thing that's ever happened to you. I'm going to Comic Con. No, you can't. That's stupid. It's stupid. You can't. No, you say that about everything. Now it doesn't matter. Oh, she got killed by a ghost. Even they hate her. Well, ghost world. Banana Man can kill ghosts too. Oh. Three months later at Comic Con. So you see, my idea is about a girl who gets shot by a ghost dart. And, 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 and I, have a, I have an indistinguishable accent, and I can't... It's, it's, it's part Austrian, part Asperger's, and I, and I, I put it all into my work, and I, it's crazy. It's, it's just 65 degrees today, and that just drove me nuts! Um, uh, so I'm hoping that you will buy this, uh, Stan Lee. <laughs> I like it, kid. Excelsior! <laughs> Fucked up weird Swedish film. No one gives a shit about it. All right. Why don't you watch Die Hard for once in your life? <laughs> Harry Potter 3, look it up. I like the American astronaut. That's why weather fucks with you, because it's normal. <laughs> you're, 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 you're separating yourself from, from, from everything normal. Oh, it's 65 degrees. Oh, it makes my skin itch, because right, it's cause normal. You know, I, I, like it, uh, I hate when it gets hot again in LA because I like to wear suits and I, I like the chilly weather. Like, I like sweater weather. Now it's getting hot again, so you're screwed, right? Exactly. That's what you're saying. I, mean, I, I, I love the vests. I love the, the, the sweaters and Argyle sweaters. I love the use of the Argyle sweaters. Right? You can get it. All right. Jesus Christ. All right. All right. All right. All right. Please Let me all live together in one apartment. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of like shallow grave. Like, it's like some indie movie. Like, they all find a case of heroin and... Like they just, they're all poetry majors and they just end up all dead at the end. Well, I think, I think Dan, I think Mission Accomplished, we, we, we do have the audience and we really, we I think we really get the, the real taste of Denver from that. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a little bell pepper, a little ham. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think everyone else in the audience is like, yeah, I'm glad he talked to Keller and Lexi. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I wish you, <laughs> I was hoping you'd talk to me, but, but that's pretty much par for the course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Denver, it's, uh, it's the altitude. It'll, 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 it'll yeah, get you. You play guitar in Nashville and you talk to Keller and then Lexi. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Herman, I think it's time to bring this train right into the stage and talk about what we learned. It's so sad. It's sad. I don't want to leave Denver. I don't want to leave here either. We have to get on the bus right after we leave. We can stay and drink for a little bit, but we're leaving at 2 a.m. I, I, I don't get to see the town at all. Believe me, we'd stay here forever. <laughs> You know we can't Hide make your make cheese sticks, everybody. <laughs> when your city is high, you just roll downtown to 
go to Harbin Town. I was in a wagon. We played Dungeons and Dragons. I went to Denver and I found my heart. And potato skits make me fart. So I'm walking in a room, the room. Crop dusting it like baby from the room. And I'm hoping that if I keep walking, it'll trail behind. And I'm sorry if it gets in your nose, but in Denver that's how it goes. And I hope the altitude makes the dudes not smell it. I'm sorry that I'm singing about hearts. I should be singing about hearts. I should be singing about omelets, and Le Le Lexer, and Schooly, whatever your names are. Weird hipsters. You know, what about Dave and his, his cheese sticks and, and, and Kelsey and her, and, her, and her kite? I'm not making shit up. You're a great city. You're the best city in the entire country. You're so good, I'm going to change your name to Harmon Town. And we're going to go to the moon. We're going to secede from the Union soon. We're going to fuck this country and fuck Toby Keith in the eye. Fuck that. You tell me, keep in your butts. Oh, 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 oh. This song could use a structural tweak or two. Harbor Town, where P is yellow and the poop is brown. I put your mama in Harbor Town. Look at Raquel, tip her ass, she's got nice hair. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, crowd serving, crowd serving. Thank you, Ryan, Adam, Drew, and Stephen up front. Crowd serving. Oh, shit. You had too many cheese sticks, my friend. Crowd serving. God damn it. With the altitude. Oh, shit. I touched. I touched. Lexi, get over here. Come on, Lexi. Right in the hand.